So our final element of art is scale and proportion. Scale refers to the size of an artwork relative to the world around it. The scale of artworks can be intimate, so very small, to monumental, to very, very large. The scale of an artwork impacts how the viewer interacts with it and understands it, and the scale affects the meaning. Proportion refers to the size of elements within an artwork. So one thing may be larger in proportion to another. Um, a figure may be larger than a building, or a building may be larger than a figure. That's what proportion refers to. So the size of an artwork relative to the real world around it has an impact on how the viewer interacts with it. Monumental artworks such as Cloudgate in Chicago are public destinations in which people can walk under it and uh, around it. Uh, this is Anish Kapoor's Cloudgate. <clears throat> Famously, it's in Millennium Park in Chicago. <clears throat> if you haven't seen it, it's well worth your effort to get there and, and see it. It's uh, really quite uh, remarkable. You can watch a video <clears throat> on Anish Kapoor about Cloudgate, and you can see people interact with this work of art and in many different ways. The small scale of this ivory carving <clears throat> means that in its time it was a devotional object seen by few people. This is the size of a small book, about five inches tall, so something that people would open and hold in their hands. It must be viewed from close up in order to be appreciated, uh, and certainly in order to appreciate the intricate detail. Uh, the intimate scale of this object requires a solitary interaction with the viewer, like, like holding a book in, in your hands. Uh, this, is a car this is carved out of elephant ivory, so um, in terms of the craftsmanship, it's really quite remarkable. So, in Renaissance Italy, artists turned their energies uh, on empiricism and rationalism. So um, <clears throat> prior to this, the work of uh, the artwork of at least European culture was uh, very much Christian and very much about uh, devotion and about the kind of spiritual realm, not about the material world. Things change in Renaissance Italy. So Leonardo made many studies of human anatomy uh, even going to the morgue and studying cadavers. The Vitruvian man was the culmination of his study of human proportions. So this is an ideal or, um, yeah, an ideal uh, way to uh, represent the actual proportions of the human body. How many heads tall is the figure? Uh, how wide is the head? How tall is the hand? Things like that. Proportions that defy our expectations, says, such as this portrait by Giacometti, emphasize the expressive or emotive qualities of the subject. So this isn't realism. Um, the elongation of the figure and the rapidly converging perspective give the impression that the figure's feet are close to the viewer, but the head is surprisingly far away, almost as if space is being stretched. <clears throat> 